Hi guys, Hyperlad over here, the Norwegian gamer, and this uh, is some rush yeah. gameplay from Bad Company 2. The, I'm actually playing with a friend of mine that was um, home for the winter holidays, and uh, it's one of the rare occasions we actually get to play it together, since he doesn't have um, access to um, proper internet where he where he's studying. So, what I wanted to do in this video is um, comment on a recent video by Woody uh, or Woody's gamer tag. He um, did discuss the upcoming Battlefield game in his most recent video, namely Battlefield 3. And those of you who watch a lot of commentaries on YouTube or even don't even watch that many of them know that Woody is one of the big time Call of Duty commentators here on YouTube and he has actually quite a lot of um, subscribers who recently hit a, a quarter million 250,000 subscribers which is pretty um, pretty impressive and um, he uh, had some thoughts on Battlefield 3 and kind of uh, shared them with his subscribers and what he said is that he's concerned that the DICE, the, the developers of Battlefield 3, is putting such an emphasis on the large maps. He's worried that the large maps is going to turn people off of the game. He um, is more, uh, he's a bigger fan, he's more a fan of um, smaller maps that get you faster into the action What's than that? larger maps which oh, have you running across the map to get to the action if you die. And look at that lucky snipe of that chopper. I was just aiming up and just no scoping and <laughs> got it. Oh, at random, it was just really amazing. Um, but he says that he thinks that that will turn people off with the large maps. I mean, and he really hopes that Dice is go able to counteract that to some kind of uh, to some degree, so that people won't get turned off the turned off of the game, because. As he says, there's three major FPS players today. There's Call of Duty, there's Halo, and there's Battlefield. And Halo Reach hasn't really been that well received in the Halo community for some reason. The game is awesome and the multiplayer is allegedly awesome. People have played it says it's great, but I, I'm guessing that it's some kind of similar reaction that Black Ops have. Uh, on a lot of Call of Duty players, that it's it's awesome, but it's not the same fun as it was. So he says that then there's just two major players, Battlefield and Call of Duty, and he is hoping that Battlefield 3 won't turn people off and leave Battlefield in dust along with Call of Duty, uh, along with Halo, I mean, and leaving Call of Duty ahead as the one major uh, FPS game. And he goes on to say that he wishes that the maps were kind of more, um, well, generally just smaller, so that you don't have to run these big distances or long distances to just kind of um, get back into the action. And if they did that in Battlefield, or at least in Battlefield 3, which is supposed to be this big epic game again, I don't think that they will succeed. I mean, then they will succeed in making a Call of Duty game, but that's not what Battlefield is. It's not a Call of Duty game. It's a Battlefield game. And Battlefield games is all about the vehicles and the big, epic, large battles, which we had in Battlefield 2. And as someone commented on this video, if we wanted a Call of Duty game, we'll go pl play Call of Duty. And if anyone tries to make a copy of Call of Duty, that copy is just going to get the reception of this is almost like Call of Duty, it's worse than Call of Duty, I'll go play Call of Duty. So we already have the Call of Duty game. What we need is a, uh, a counter to that Call of Duty game, a game that is so different but still an FPS game that we can kind of satisfy all the different uh, people that's playing FPS games and I believe that's where Battlefield comes in 
because instead of the close quarters combat, fast paced combat that you get in Call of Duty, you get a more slow paced, more controlled, a little more tactic gameplay and a lot larger maps, which is really the quite uh, the quite the contrary to what we get in Call of Duty, but it's still an awesome game, and that is what Battlefield is. I mean, and that's what it should continue to be, because it's such an important part or important response to the Call of Duty games. Because uh, I, I'm also say, believe it or not, but we need those counters so that Call of Duty still. Um, it's not while Battlefield is not direct competition, it kind of shows what it shows the developers of Call of Duty what they should not do and what what they don't need to focus on. So with Battlefield, Dice knows that we don't need to do the close quarter, fast pace gameplay kind of game. That's Call of Duty, and Call of Duty the Call of Duty developers, whoever they might be. For the, for the next games, they know that we don't need to make this big open epic uh, warfare kind of deal because that's Battlefield. So er, the gamers themselves can choose what they want to play, and that is the end of the gameplay. We won barely. <laughs> I hope to see you next time. Snackus.